In this video, we're looking at emergent behaviors generated in Unreal Engine using the free MindMaker machine learning plugin. MindMaker employs the stable baseline suite of reinforcement learning algorithms. I've put links to that in the video description. Before we dive into what's happening with these AI characters that are running around on the screen, a little bit of background about emergent behavior. This refers to behaviors that are not pre-programmed, but actually develop organically in response to some environmental stimuli. In a sense, we're going to evolve these behaviors through some adaptive algorithm, such as genetic programming, reinforcement learning, or Monte Carlo methods. This has the advantage of creating AI agents that behave more akin to carbon-based life forms in that they are less predictable and show a greater diversity of strategic behaviors. By allowing the AI to discover solutions that were not foreseen by the programmer, the agents can explore a broader solution space than would be possible with traditional programming methods. There is a caveat to using emergent behavior methods, however, if you're wanting to create a very specific behavior, for instance, mimicking precisely and repeatedly the actions of a certain animal, emergent behavior methods may not be the best option. They are well suited to repetitive, they're not well suited to repetitive high fidelity tasks where you don't want much variation. On the other hand, emergent behavior methods are very good for creating a diversity of behaviors, some of which might be close to real animal behaviors, but probably not exactly the same. There are a number of recipes for creating open-ended emergence. In this case, we have a multi-agent scenario where cooperation and competition is involved and the agents are employing uh, reinforcement learning for their adaptive strategy. While this can lead to emergence, it can also lead to cycles of repeating behavior, which loop indefinitely until some element in the environment nudges it out of a cycle. So what we have on the screen is two virtual species. We'll call them rhinos and the other tigers. Both groups are exploring their environment looking for berries, which take the form of large gold spheres. To make matters more complex, a random assortment of these berry patches are populated by wild birds, which can screech, thereby scaring off the tigers and rhinos. However, if a tiger or rhino teams up with another individual to approach the berries together, then they scare the birds into silence and they can access the berries so they will now have to split them between each other. So in addition to this cooperative behavior, they actually also have a competitive behavior in which they can issue a roar or start stomping, uh, thereby scaring off members of the opposite species, but also costing themselves valuable energy. In many ways, this scenario replicates some of the cooperative and competitive trade-offs available to animals and nature, and for that matter, humans and corporations. This results in a situation where the behavior of the different species is also unlikely to reach a stable equilibrium. The random distribution of birds at the berry patches ensures that the environment is continually changing, and this in turn keeps changing the potential benefits to cooperation or competition for the agents. To compete or cooperate is one of the oldest questions, and by simula simulating this among virtual agents, we can gain valuable insight into the conditions that lead to various competitive or cooperative outcomes. Using such virtual agents, we can also engender much of the same behavioral complexity that one might observe in the animal kingdom or perhaps even in human societies. There's a fascinating paper on this from researchers at DeepMind called Auto Curricula and the Emergence of Innovation from Social Interaction, a Manifesto for Multi-Agent Intelligent Research. I've put a link to that in the video description. 
Given that our agents have minimal ways to interact with their environment, they cannot trap their competition or hide the berries using other objects, our paradigm is unlikely to result in something as interesting as emergent tool use. It does, however, avoid fixed equilibrium and creates a continually shifting assortment of cooperative and competitive behaviors. This provides a far more fascinating strategic animal backdrop than typically appears in open world video games. For this reason, I think it's likely that emergent behavior techniques such as the one shown here will come to dominate the next generation of video game AI, creating ever more interesting and alluring characters and behavioral repertoires.